Hello. Very often, you will need to show an IPA file to the client for their review. This video explains the easiest way for you to share an IPA with that client. To begin with, you will need to request that the client send you the UDID for the device. You can send them an email explaining the process. First, they will need to connect their iPad or iPhone with the USB cord to their computer. Next, they can launch iTunes and select their device. In the summary window for their device, they will see their serial number. If they click on it once, it will change to the UDID number. They can then right-click the UDID to copy it. They can then paste it into an email and send it to you. In order for the IPA to contain that UDID number, you must add it in developer.apple.com in the device section. Go to the iOS provisioning portal and choose devices on the left. Click on add device and add the device name and UDID number. Next, you will need to create new provisioning profiles. The provisioning profiles you store in Xcode contain the UDID information. Therefore, when you create an app in App Factory, the IPA knows that it can be loaded on that device. Launch Xcode and throw away the provisioning profiles you already made for the app. This is an important step because you cannot have duplicate provisioning profiles. If you do, App Factory will not create an IPA file for you. Next, go into the provisioning section of the iOS provisioning portal and create new development and distribution files. Download these files to your computer and load them into Xcode by dragging them into the Xcode window or by double clicking them. Now you can make a new IPA. If you had App Factory running, make sure you restart App Factory as the provisioning profiles are only loaded at the launch of App Factory. In App Factory, you can generate a new release or ad hoc file for your client. Now for the instructions on how your client can load the IPA. It can be too cumbersome to have a client load Xcode, send them the provisioning profiles, and then explain the whole IPA loading process. If they use iPhone configuration utility, they don't have to load any provisioning profiles. They can just download this simple utility and load the IPA. That's it. First, send them the IPA and instruct them to download the iPhone configuration utility. It's a free application. Next, they can launch iPhone configuration utility and choose applications under library on the left. They can drag and drop the IPA file into the application area. Next, with their device connected USB to their computer, they will see the device listed on the left. They can choose the device, click on the Applications tab, and find their application and click on Install. It's that easy. I've also made a video for your clients to make this process even easier for you. You can find it right next to this video. Thanks for watching.